Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of my Swiss River Guide. Today's river is the Tour, a river in the foothills of the Alps. There are multiple sections, but the one we are looking at is the standard one from Bitschwil to Schwarzenbach. The put-in at Bitschwil can be reached by a toll road. You can get a permit through the municipality of Bitschwil or carry your kayaks down. The tour flows through the Tockenburg and reaches the low country at Schwarzenbach and finally flows into the Rhine below Schaffhausen. The dominant geological structure in the lower Tockenburg below Neslau is conglomerate, or more specific, Nagelflur. At the Putin you can see that already quite prominently as the water flows over some conglomerate plates creating a nice wave to practice while waiting for the cars to be put in place. As the mountains are not very high here around the best season is from April until the beginning of June or after rainfall. The water drains off quite fast after the rain. There are multiple possibilities for a put-in. You should have at least 15 cubic meters per second to start in Butchwil. A good level is reached at 30 cubic meters per second. This here is the minimal flow. <laughs> Below Bitchwil, the tour flows through a valley with Nagelflur cliffs at the sides. For stretches, it feels very jungle like. This upper section does not have any particular difficulties, and it is also a favorite section for paddling in open canoes. This makes it a good option for beginners to get a feel for flowing water. We are paddling here as an annual event. Shortly above the village Lüttisburg, the Neckar flows into from the right. It seldomly brings substantial amount of water. The tour finds its way around the church hill of Lüttisburg and at the far end reaches the old wooden bridge. This is another option to put in, especially when the water level is not quite sufficient for further up. From here on down, you will see more people at the shore, especially during nice weather. Some kilometers below Lütisburg, the tour flows into the backwater of the weir at Batzenheide. This one is portaged on the right side. If the water level is exceptionally low or you're pressed for time, you can also put in here and only do the lower part. We usually have our lunch break at the Nagelflur below the weir. Here the technical, more interesting section starts as it becomes steeper. The river diminishes the height differences in various rapids, but the gradient in between is also higher. The section starts off flat with the measuring point at the right. The first rapid comes soon. When the shore is not forested, Nagelflur dominates the scene. After the villa on the left side, the tour flows into the Indian cataract. The water is pressed together and forms a hole at the end. There are large eddies on both sides and you can spend quite a bit of time here.
comparable to the ones above. There is one rock barrier over the whole river with about one meter high difference. Another play spot. All too soon he reached the upper putout in Schwarzenbach. As there are two more rapids that might not be to everyone's taste, this is a good spot to get out on the right side. Immediately thereafter the tour flows over some rips that can form sticky backflows at higher water levels. Under the train bridge there is the Ox Yolk. All the water is pressed through a narrow gap with a sideway hole at the bottom. The trick here is to get the approach right, which is different on a yearly basis. At higher flows there are more options. is after the road bridge and can surprise with some traverse holes which can become nasty at higher water levels. Luckily you can also exit above them on the left side as well as below. Then you have to shoulder your kayaks to carry them back up over the road bridge to the car. You can find additional information down in the description. If you find this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!